Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Today I wanted to do a little video on a project I'm doing and show you why on the old horizontal mills they put uh, side controls on them and advantages to that. So let's go out to the shop and we'll fire the mill up and uh, get these holes put in where we need them and I'll show you how to get that done. Okay, so I think it's about as good as I can get there. Maybe I'm in the frame, maybe I'm not. But, show you what we've got here on my Cincinnati. Uh, all the controls that are on the front of the mill are duplicated on the side of the mill, which is good for doing work like this, because it means I can operate everything from here. I've got my rapids engaged here. I've got uh, table in and out, table up and down. Underneath here, we've got the cross for left and right. Uh, this is will increase or decrease the feeds. And this here starts and stops the spindle. And this one here is the speeds of the spindle. So I've already got that set and I've got the feeds where I want it. So I already started opening these holes up, but the, uh, the end mill I have is too short to go deep enough. So I got this other end mill, and now we're going to come in here and uh, finish boring these holes to relocate for this other cylinder head we're putting on. Uh, this here's the gasket. See there where it's all supposed to be, like that. So we've got this where it's lined up. So let's fire the mill up and get to cutting. Of course, you won't be able to hear me probably with it on, so I might just fast forward through that part and just let you all watch me. Hopefully, this will catch me working the controls and you'll be able to see how I do this. So. 